One of the greatest uh, managers, rock music managers of all time, uh, Billy, Billy Graham, said, uh, you said about him, you couldn't have a better teacher. What did you mean? Well, I thought he was like, a, I always called Bill Graham like a sheik among people, you know? He was like a, a great leader, you know, a great, uh, great energy force, you know, a force of nature, really. And he just, uh, he was also one of the funniest guys you ever would sit and talk to when he was relaxed at night and we'd come off the concert and we'd fly on our little jet, you know, and we'd go off and we'd relax. And he would tell stories about, you know, everybody in the whole world because he had worked with them, you know, but he was uh, hilarious. He wanted to be an actor, you know, he was a New Yorker who actually wanted to be an actor and became one at the end of his life there. But uh, he was a, a hilarious guy, you know. But besides the stories that he used to tell, why was he such a great teacher? Why was he such a great teacher? teacher right. Uh, I don't know. You know, Bill had this sign behind his desk. It said, though I walk in the valley of fear, I am the meanest son of a bitch in that valley. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that, that, that was Bill, you know. He was the toughest. You know, he'd send us off, we'd want to buy a building or something, you know, and he'd go, okay, then he'd send us all off on tour, and he'd buy the building. <laughs> <laughs> we'd come back, what happened to our investment? Oh, you guys couldn't handle it, I did it. You know. <laughs>